Hello, welcome to this week's vlog. If you haven't checked out the latest polecat video, have a look at that, just to see the cute things running around. A bit wordy, because it's about how to, but have a little fast forward. Those polecats are doing really, really well. Uh, big thanks to Emily and Annie, who are really putting a bit of time into those things. They're pretty tame, and they're very, very comical to watch. So we're down by the river. <laughs> I'm trying to find Jackie, I've just spotted her because I've just lagged behind and finally had a chat with one of the very few fishermen I've seen down at this part of the river. You saw me earlier on some of the vlogs a few weeks ago, sort of trying to film underwater with my phone because there was so many fish in there. Gudgeon, roach, dace, bream, chub, pike, all to the naked eye, if you like. And the gentleman said it's the best this river's been fishing and the most full of fish um, for 70 years that he's been fishing here. He was 77, fished here since he was a boy. And he said it's it's up and down, but it's really, really thriving. So a really good ecosystem there. Um, I wonder I wonder how full of crayfish, red claws it is or not. It'd be interesting to know. 20 quid a year to join. I really need to push myself to find a bit of time, don't I? Full curry this year, definitely. Takes up really all the time. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> There's a swan. I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of fishing, proper relax. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the vlog. I'm gonna catch up with Jackie and she's picking more and more blackberries. Look at this. There she is, right over there. This lake down here, it's impenetrable. It's not accessible. I imagine if you're a bird watcher in the winter, especially, this, well, all year round, I suppose, it must be absolutely choco. It's full of Canada geese and swans at the moment, absolutely full, but it's almost completely surrounded by reed beds. It's got to, there's got to be bitterns in there. I bet it's an absolute breeding ground for birds. No wonder we can hear the cuckoo from our house in the spring, first time in 20 years. This area is amazing. I've just climbed over the fence, naughty, naughty. Never mind the birds. This place must be a darn good area for grass snakes. Surely, look at it. It's huge. I can only see little bits of it. So you've seen a lot of Jackie picking blackberries and other fruits in these recent vlogs and it has been a bumper autumn or late summer and here is what it turns into. Look at that. And that is really tasty. I have no idea how that's going to taste. I'm going to find out very soon. Look at that. Wild produce or gifted produce turned into a very yummy food. Pleased with you, yes. Yeah, very, very pleased with you. You're doing good, aren't you? Yeah, you're doing really good. Yes, you are. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, I missed you. Yeah, beautiful, aren't you? Hey. Mm -hmm. 
beautiful. Let's get you a special treat. Hey, got your tomato. Yeah, and some peas. Yeah. Little noises. Little face. Where are you going? Hmm? Will you bless your face? Are you ready? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Here you go. Ready? Ready? Sit down then. Sit. Ready? Oh, and then, oh, well caught. Well caught. <laughs> You're crazy. What's he doing? A hooligan. <coughs> I can't even film you going too quick. Come on up here. Up here. Now, oh, shall we calm for a minute? Just look calm. Calm. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, we're not doing that. Calm. Rocks. Calm. Yes, you're getting too excited now. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> So it's that time of the year where we've got the Harris Hawks out from their seasonal malt. Um, we're actually planning to do this on Monday after the Valley races, but I haven't been very well. So I've put Tommy off, put Tommy, put Tommy off. I haven't felt well. And today dad evicted them from their free lofts, <laughs> ready for other birds. So they've just got temporary awful equipment on. We're going to swap that over now, but it's Zara, who God knows how old she is now. I haven't hunted her in a couple of years, still not f quite finished. Um, got a lovely bluey colour to her, but she can fly while she finishes those last couple of tail feathers. And Big Al, Tom's much beloved male Harris's hawk. Be our third season together. Look lovely, nice. lovely thick tail feathers. One baby one left. One left. One brown. Oh ah, yeah. yeah. That gorgeous colour. Looks really good, don't he? Ooh. Yeah, horrible female. Just needs his feet cleaning. Yeah, you can give him a good scrub up now. Put all brand new equipment on him. Oh, he's coming now. <laughs> and so we've now got to uh, evade the falcon now the tactic here is to stay away from the falcon but are still trying to remain close to the ground the closer you are to the ground uh, the quicker you're able to get caught and land that's 20 seconds oh. Nine, oh. Eight, oh, he's in trouble seven, now he's in trouble six, now he's in trouble five four three two one there's the horn again and we can get caught. And don't forget, importantly, the Falcon and the model have to land inside the marked area. Just like that. Give us a round of applause. Fantastic. Yeah, well done, bud.
Those polecats or harvest mice, adders or great crested newts, peregrine falcons. Look at this British wildlife. My armpit now. <laughs> nice in there. <laughs> so Tommy's just holding the male eastern indigo snake. We've just uh, shown some members of the public this amazing animal and talked about snakes in general, but look at this snake. Those of you that know your snakes, you will know how special East Indigo snakes are in the wild and as a collector's sort of interest. And this is, of course, captive bred. Those of you that don't know, the East Indigo snake is one of the most iconic snake species in the world, suffering from habitat loss in the wild, desperately in need of conservation and help. And captive breeding is really helping these guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Here's an hour I've not flown for a long time. Did come on some of my school visits for quite a while. Now he's really exclusively here at uh, Icarus Fulcher's experience days. Who flies him mostly? I'd say Asal would fly him mostly. And he's a good boy. He's about, oh, I'm gonna guess now, can't remember, 20 years old. Spot, the African spotted eagle owl. Brilliant owls. And for those, few people that really want to work with an owl and they really must have an owl to work with don't advise it but an african spotted yeah. eagle owl is definitely one of the best first owls to to start with i say first owls they're going to live for about 30 odd years so when your first owl might be <laughs> your last owl but spot here very good at his job brilliant at, used to do a lot of flying displays at outside events great in school halls and I have magnificent Icarus falconry, hands-on experience days. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. Do me one big favor, click on that subscribe button. Thank you. From Spot and I, see you next time. <laughs>